Okay, today we're going to learn about how to multiply polynomials. Uh, let's see uh, some examples. We're going to be using a lot the the product power rules, like multiplying uh, one uh, monomial times another monomial. But now we're going to do a distribution. Let's do a review of, of the product of powers. When we multiply exponents, we're going to add them. Okay. Now let's see this this um, example. We had this uh, monomial multiplied this binomial. So we, what we're gonna do is do like distributive property, okay? And then uh, try to simplify the expression. So we're gonna multiply 5x to the second power times 2x to the third power, and then plus 5x to the second power plus, uh, times 3x. So we're gonna do it like this, this using distributive property. So we're gonna multiply the coefficients. Five times two will be 10. And then the exponent, we're going to add it, 2 plus 3. And then the other, on the other part will be 5 times 3 will be 15. And the exponent is 2 plus 1 will, will be here. So we can simplify as 10x to the fifth power plus 15x to the third power. That's how we're going to do it. Now, what will happen when we have a, a binomial times a binomial? We're going to use what is called the box method. Other way to do it is like do double distributive property. This multiplied by uh, 3x multiplied by five times 5x plus 3x uh, times 1, and then negative 2 times negative uh, times 5x and negative 2 times 1, and then combine like terms. That's one way, but it's kind of confusing and uh, you can get lost when you're doing double distributive property. So what we're going to use is the box method. We got we got like a, a rectangle two by two. This, this method also works like if we're multiplying a binomial uh, times a trinomial, like 2 times 3, we just uh, get the box uh, bigger. It depends on how many terms we have. So we're going to have uh, each term on, on top or like a, a label or box. So it will be 3x minus 2. And on the other side will be the other uh, binomial, 5x plus 1. And then we're going to multiply like 3x times 5x will be 15x squared because we add the, the exponents, 1 and 1 will be 2, and 3 times 5 will be 15. And then 3x times 1, 3x, 5x times negative 2, negative 10x, and negative 2 times 1, negative 2. And then we're going to just add whatever we have inside. So 15x squared minus 10x plus 3x minus 2. Combine like terms, 15x squared minus 7x minus 2. That's how we are going to do it if we got a binomial or trinomial times a binomial. Just get a box and multiply and then simplify. Let's see a special case. This one is not the same. Don't get confused with the power rule. The first one to the square and the second one to the square, nine x squared plus four. This is not the same. This one is the same as three x minus two times three x minus two. So it is a, a binomial times a binomial. We need to do it by the box method, okay? So three x times three x will be nine x squared, three x times negative two, negative six, negative 2, uh, neg uh, th uh, 3x times negative 2, negative 6x, negative 2 times negative 2, 4, then combine whatever is, is inside, 9x squared minus 6x minus 6x plus 4, combine like terms, 9x squared minus 12x plus 4. So this is a really common mistake, getting confused with the power uh, of a power, but this is not the same, okay? This if we expand it, it's like this, so we got to do it by the box method. Okay, just be careful about this one. It's not just the first one to the second power and the second one to the second power. We got to do it with the with the box method. Okay.